Hi, Liz here from Brain Body Better. Does your blood pressure feel like it's playing a game of limbo? Seeing how low can it go? Low blood pressure or uh, what we call orthostatic hypotension um, is a common issue that pops up in Parkinson's. I'm going to talk through a couple strategies that you can use to help counteract uh, these drops in blood pressure. The first is monitoring your blood pressure um, to be able to see if there's a pattern. Um, oftentimes blood pressure can be low in the morning um, because you haven't had fluid intake throughout the night. And the other um, place where it's fairly common is after a big meal. Um, so it's always helped to track to see if there's a pattern. Another thing that can help is making sure you're staying hydrated. So a great goal is aiming for six to eight glasses of fluid a day. So that's water, it could be Gatorade, um, vegetable juice, something like V8. Um, all of those are really great because they'll build up hydration. Um, the other thing that you can do in terms of your diet is adding in some salt and we give you that suggestion if you are not also dealing with any kidney issues or any cardiac issues. Um, if you are, you definitely want to follow up with your um, neurologist and um, any physicians that are helping manage that. Another suggestion is trying compression stockings. Um, so you can find um, compression stockings that go to your knee or your thigh. I always recommend starting with the knee ones. They're easier to get on. Um, and uh, a good amount of compression to start with is uh, 10 to 15 um, millimeters of mercury. And then an ideal amount of compression is about 30 millimeters of mercury. It may be helpful to work with either a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, on strategies for you to be able to get the compression stockings on and off as that can sometimes be tricky. Um, with compression stockings, you wanna put them on first thing in the morning because that helps just bring uh, your blood volume back up um, to the rest of your body. And the last thing I'm gonna show you are just some strategies because this drop in blood pressure often happens when you're changing positions, going from lying down to sitting, sitting to standing, or going all the way from lying to standing. And so what you can do is prep your body. Um, and so these are called counter pressure maneuvers. Um, so you can start here by grabbing onto your hands and pulling apart, really engaging your arms. So you can work on pulling and relax, pulling and relax. You may even find that your core muscles engage here. You're sitting up a little bit taller. So this is a good one to start with. The next is pushing your arms down into your knees. And as you're doing this, so you're pushing down and it's like your knees are trying to lift up. So you're really just engaging as many muscles as you can. The next one you can do is squeezing your tush. So pinching your cheeks together. Imagine there's a penny between your cheeks. So we want to be engaging your bigger muscles because that helps just pump blood volume back up to your body, making it a little bit easier for your body to um, keep your blood pressure up when you're changing positions. The next is just pushing down into the floor. So pushing your feet down into the floor. And you can do that and incorporate a tush squeeze. And you can even layer it in with your arms pushing down. So the recommendation is for you to do that for at least 30 seconds up to a minute before you do um, a position change. I've worked with people where they only need to do a handful of them to um, get everything um, primed. And for some people, they need that full minute, especially if you've been sitting for a long time. 
I hope that this is helpful. Um, try out these strategies. Um, and I'm Liz from Brain Body Better. And this uh, video is just about helping with your low blood pressure. If you found this um, really helpful, hit subscribe below um, and you'll get updated on when we are um, putting out more videos.